Day three came around real quick. We were having too much fun. It was actually Willem's last day today, so we were determined to get him up kite foiling. We'd just been a bit unlucky and only had very light wind. However, foiling behind the tender was actually perfect for Willem to try out different positions and foils on his board. We just needed a little more breeze to make it much easier for Willem's first time kite foiling. Willem, are you sure you want to do this? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're at the right position? Well, we'll, we'll see. It's one way to find out. Let me hold my baby. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a really fun day yesterday. Willem had his first go foiling. How was it? How's the feeling? Yeah, first time foiling was amazing. Like the feeling once the board gets out of the water, it kind of feels like uh, flying over the water. It's like an cool. uh, amazing feeling. Yeah. And honestly, I've, I've actually never seen someone get it so quick. Like it was straight up behind the boat and it went so well, we even got him up behind Cartouche, which was really cool. Oh, yeah, that was really amazing. Yeah. Like having the view of this, this beauty and then uh, like foiling behind it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's so cool, man, foiling. I already was curious about how it would feel, but I even love it way more now. Yeah. And I'm also really excited to try it with the kite. Yeah. Super addictive foiling. Like, as soon as you get a taste, you just want to do it. And it's one of those skills where you can never fully master, you know, like you're always working on it, you know, yeah. which is really interesting. And uh, how's your, you know, experience been on the boat so far? What do you think of the boat? Yeah, the boat is just, it's, it's fucking amazing. Like, uh, you know, uh, the people who we're with, but also, uh, you know, all these toys on board and all this cool stuff to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, just amazing. The food is good. Yeah. Uh, That's it. And, uh, but uh, yeah, also regarding the, the foiling, I think it has a lot of uh, potential for uh, sit kiting as well. Yeah. Because you're above the water, it's kind of going so smoothly. And yeah, I think it's. Yeah. It's very good doable as uh, sit guy. Yeah. Sit kiting. Yeah. I, it's been amazing like watching you and how it works, you know, sit kiting and also it's been really cool to to see like the whole crew and you know, we were like a bit worried about, you know, having the boat and the logistics of having stairs, you know, and the water, but actually it's been perfect. Like we've got the platform that raises down, you can just slide straight off the back. Like how does it compare to kiting on the boat to kiting on the beach? Well, actually, uh, I was really curious how it would work to be with a wheelchair on a catamaran. Yeah. And I uh, told some people about it. I'm going to this trip, and they were like, "You're crazy with a wheelchair on the boat. You, will, <laughs> yeah. you know, you will want to get up after one day." Well, yeah. it's kind of the opposite. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I don't want to get off this boat anymore. <laughs> no, but it's cool. Yeah. Also, like with the help of you guys. Yeah. It's it's just uh, so cool how how we make it work together. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, like one example, how to go into the water uh, in a big boat like this. Then having this uh, plateau that can just, you know, go up and down, it's, it's just uh, perfect for me. Yeah, yeah. Watering me with my board and I'm able to ride in, so yeah. Yeah, it's sick. And then like, he went out on the foil and then we had a little pit crew, came back. We changed up the, the position of the foil, got it just right, sent him straight back out there. So it's been really cool like tinkering with your foil, getting it in the perfect position. So now actually the wind's just picking up and he's gonna try kite foiling for the first time. It's still only about 12 knots, which is, is tricky. You know, I think it's easier in about 15 knots when you don't need to worry about the kite so much. But I'm feeling good about it though. Ready yeah, to go. Yeah, me too. I'm just excited to try and yeah. uh, let's see how it goes, you know? Yeah. and. Cool Let's thing give it a again, go. The cool thing again about the boat is that, you know, if you end up downwind, we've got the tender, come pick you up. It's all good. It's what it's about. The, the wind voyager motto is like, don't fuck around, just get it done, you know? And I think that's really cool. The team just make anything happen. If you've got an idea, we'll make it happen. It's yeah. pretty sick. That's what I really like about this crew also. Like, yeah. it's not, no, no doubt, everyone is just full on to it, yeah. full commitment. Don't mess around. Uh, if you really want to do it, let's do it. It's really amazing <laughs> to meet you guys also. Yeah, dude. Cool, it's been good to meet you too. Well, let's get you out on the water. All right, let's go let's for it. it. Oh, yeah. There's some power there. Over here. 
Okay. Very good. Once I get some speed, it's kind of shooting me out of the water. So right. round one, how was that? Tough, mostly drinking some seawater <laughs> and uh, getting back to the boat to yeah. switch, uh, switch foils. So we could see that the foil just had so much buoyancy. Um, the lighter carbon foil with a bit of wood in it. And it was hard for you to steer the kite and get the foil underneath. Yeah, exactly. The foil was kind of floating and because I'm attached to the board, it's kind of pushing me a bit underwater. Yeah. So that didn't felt really like uh, comfortable or safe. Yeah. So let's see uh, with the alloy foil. It's more weight, so it's kind of, yeah. I think it will help to get me in the right start position, at least For at sure. my first kite session. So let's see how it goes. So we came back to the boat, pit crew changed out the foils, aluminium foil, round two. Let's round go. Round two, let's go. <laughs> Round two went a lot better. How was it? Round two went a lot better for sure. Yeah. Uh, this time I had the aluminium foil, and it's kind of more weight, so it was really helping to get me in the right starting position. Yeah. Yeah. And then once the kite was pulling, it's kind of for sure. Yeah. Like the, the foil really wants to go up, so yeah. it was really awesome feeling. It was cool, and you got it quickly as my well. My first uh, meters on the uh, kite yeah. foil. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And also we switched to a 12 meter instead of a 17. And I think the 12 was just a bit easier to maneuver. The 17 Definitely. was just a little bit tricky, you know. I think the 12 was big enough. Um, generally, you 12 don't was need. was perfect yeah. for the, uh, like it was enough uh, enough pull to get me out. Yeah, for sure. And uh, yeah, once uh, once the board gets out of the water, yeah, there's just so less power you need to stay up. Yeah, it was amazing to feel. Uh, it. So much difference with uh, normal riding with low winds. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It changes the whole game, you know, for me, like now you can kite in 12, 15 knots, whereas before you have to wait until 20 knots. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to give it another go and do some yeah small adjustments to the board, like yep. uh, find the, the perfect position for the foil to be under the, under the seat. I yeah. think that uh, that will also like uh, improve a lot uh, yeah. the control. And now we're gonna uh, quick stop for lunch. The boys are gonna drill some holes, move the foil a little, for, a little bit further back, and then round three. Exactly. <laughs> See if we See can you then. Uh, do some first turns, maybe. Yeah, I mean, by the end there, you were keeping your ground upwind. So, and I think the winds actually picked up a little bit. So. Yeah, just a couple of knots more will definitely help. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Let's get it. Cool. We're so pleased to welcome to the family this guy, Willem, who we've been kiting with and foiling with for two days and is, is an inspiration to our hearts and he's agreed to join Wind Voyager for two years. Cheers! Cheers! Unfortunately, the wind dropped and we weren't able to get Willem back out on the water. So we had to say our goodbyes, but we did have one hell of a trip and it was amazing to meet Willem and welcome him to the team. I look forward to our next adventure together, hopefully with a bit more wind. But for now, it's time to say peace out, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. See you, buddy.